For years, race cars had a problem. Every time the driver shifted gears, the engine briefly cut power. The car stopped pulling, speed dipped, and momentum was lost. A tiny pause. But at 300 kilometers per hour, that pause could cost you the race. Manual gearboxes depended on human reaction time. Traditional automatics were too slow. Racing needed something better. That's when dual-clutch transmissions changed everything. A DCT is basically two gearboxes in one. One clutch handles odd gears, the other handles even gears. So while you're accelerating in one gear, the next gear is already engaged and waiting. When the shift happens, one clutch disengages as the other engages. No power cut, no hesitation, just continuous acceleration. Lap times dropped, shifts became instant. Drivers were now shifting faster than humanly possible, and that was the problem. DCTs were too effective, they reduced the driver's influence and turned racing into an engineering war. So in many series, advanced DCTs were restricted, regulated, or banned to keep racing fair. But the tech didn't disappear. It escaped the racetrack. That lightning-fast shift in modern supercars? That's banned racing tech. Now legal on the street.